stop researching distros and just install Linux Mint. If you're considering installing Linux for the first time, then what you have to do is you have to stop researching all these different distros and just install Linux Mint. The reason for this is, is because there could be dozens, and I mean dozens of distros that you're researching right now, all claiming to do different things and all that stodge and blah, 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 blah. And you know what? Some of them are fantastic. I'm a big fan of Arch right now. Big fan of Debian too. But they're not really what you need as a new user. So the reason that you need to stop going through all this stuff and install Linux Mint is because when you're new to Linux and you're just installing Linux for the first time, you're in a situation where you have no idea what you don't, uh, don't know. You have such a vague knowledge that you don't even, you're at a point where you don't even know what questions you even need to ask. Now, I will still say that, yes, you should Google simple questions like, will my wireless card or will my GPU work on Linux Mint? But beyond that, a lot of researching this stuff is just going to create more confusion. The only way that you're going to really learn about Linux and really learn not only what you don't know, but actually learn about things that you don't know, the best way to progress your knowledge is going to be just getting in and getting your hands dirty and installing the system. The reason that Linux Mint is the best system for new users is because it's got a very good, very easy to use interface. It has excellent software support. It has good hardware support and it's very stable, which is good for new users. It doesn't break a whole lot. It has a tendency to just, you install it and it just works and it's great. In fact, that's kind of one of the problems with Ubuntu is that one of the reasons I don't recommend Ubuntu to new users is because Canonical has a tendency to kind of rush the releases and sometimes it's not the most stable. The other reason is, is that they literally put ads in the start or in the terminal, which I'm going to uh, put a link to that down below where you can actually see ads in the terminal, which is, to me, that's just a line you cannot cross. It's like putting ads in your bedroom. Linux Mint is much better about that kind of thing. The team behind Linux Mint has a much better track record of being very uh, good with the community and very in line with what the rest of the Linux Mint community wants, whereas in the past has been a problem with Canonical. So let me give you a little bit of an analogy here, okay, to get back on point. Worrying about what distro you should install of is like what kind of car you should drive before you have your license. Yes, there are answers that are better than others, but in truth, literally any car is better than none. I mean, yeah, you probably don't want to install Arch on your first try. That would be a bit like going out and buying a $100,000 Ferrari for your first car. And, you know, you probably don't want to do Debian on your first try either. Because, you know, that would be a bit like trying to learn how to drive on a Ford F-250. Doable, but probably not the best experience. Whereas Linux Mint, Linux Mint is very much like the Toyota of the Linux world. It's just all around good, stable, works well, does what you need it to do out of the box. And the other thing is, you got to stop procrastinating. Installing Linux is like diving into a cold pool on a hot day. Yeah, you might toe up to the edge and be like, oh, 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 do I, I'm not sure I want to do this. Oh, it's going to be real cold. It's going to be real cold. And then, you know, your cousin starts making fun of you until you finally decide you're going to jump in. And then when you jump in and you get over the initial shock, you're like, wow, this is awesome. I feel so much better. Well, you know what? Linux is the same way. Once you dive into it, once you get going into it, there's so many ways that it's so much better than Windows. Like installing Windows programs is a pain in the butt where you have to go to who knows what website and download who knows what program linux it's all just right there for you and it's so much easier but that's a whole other tangent that i can probably make into a whole other video so don't forget to like and subscribe and pray every day